I'm Michael Breslin, Safety and Compliance Manager for Turn Services. I joined Turn Services in 2009 as a deckhand. I worked on the boats for a little bit over two years. There was an opportunity to come into the office as a dispatcher. Uh, I took that opportunity, uh, went to the interview, got the job, moved into the dispatch office where I worked for about two and a half years as night dispatcher. After two and a half years in the dispatch office, there was an opening up for somebody to do training and safety for the new hires, for the deckhands, and for some of the fleets. Turn Services gave me the opportunity to do that. Based on my past experience on the boat, I kind of fit the bill as a guy who might be able to communicate to the office what was going on and also knew the ins and outs of, of what was required to train a deckhand. In 2016, with Sub-M looming in the background, uh, I got the opportunity to move into a compliance and safety role, which is what I do now, um, compliance and safety manager. Basically working to make sure that we work within the regulations of all the different agencies that, that oversee us, from the Coast Guard, the OSHA, to the DEQ, and then also focusing on the safety of our fleets and our boats. I think for the young men and women that are looking to come out here and make a career out of it, the big word in that statement is career. Sometimes we'll see an individual come in who thinks that he's getting a job, and the river is more of a career. It really is. If you come in with the idea that you're going to be here for a while and build up yourself as a person and, um, and get experience under your belt, you're going to have a good chance to, to really grow within the maritime industry. It's a great community. I'd say get involved, talk with your peers, make sure that you're not getting pigeonholed just because you might have a bad day on your boat or a bad day at your facility. Don't think that that's the way the whole river works or how it's going to be the rest of your life and the rest of your career. Uh, there's a lot of really good resources, there's a lot of good clubs, there's a lot of good organizations that you can join. And then also there's a lot of experience out there. Just talk to the captains who have been out there for a while. Make sure that you're listening more than you're talking sometimes. and. Um, and just be open to learning. Thanks for tuning in to Who Works the Rivers Wednesday. Check back the first Wednesday of every month to view new videos about the different careers available in the maritime industry. Or visit riverworksdiscovery.org forward slash river dash careers to learn more about careers on the river.